Hey guys, we're live on the moon. Early, early, early Sunday, Sunday morning, 5 13, 2012. 3.36 a.m., another all-nighter for Bill. And I've been, uh, I've been looking at this moon for about 30 minutes. I've been waiting for it to go up into the, uh, the air. As you know, if you watch my videos uh, for any uh, period of time, you know that uh, the lower in the sky, the more atmospherics. But uh, it also is colorful, and I'm, and so consequently, I just had to turn the uh, turn the machine on. And, and besides that fact, I've seen seven UFOs, slow flyers obviously bats so I don't know what we're gonna see on this live session but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it our best. Isn't that a beautiful moon guys look at that absolutely stunning I uh, I noted it's been up for about 45 minutes and it came up kind of harvest like and it's there, there's a slow flyer, guys. You see that? Obviously, obviously ice. Nope, nope, a bat, a bat. Got to be a bug. A bat, a bug, whatever your cup of tea is, that's what it is. But we're going to, we're going to explore this moon, uh, I, I might put it on pause to give it a chance to go a little higher. I, by the, by the way, my name is Bill Bryson, and uh, I do the moon. I try to do it uh, every night, if I can. There's another one, guys. <laughs> this is going to be another controversial video. And here I am, just drinking my black coffee, thinking pleasant thoughts, and all these damn UFOs seem to fly all over the place and disrupt my presentation. I don't know what in the hell to do about that. But I, I know a certain audience uh, watches my videos for that. So you will probably be rewarded tonight. I've been... Uh, trying to uh, uh, work uh, the area and and look I'm gonna I'm gonna hone in on a crater for a friend in a little bit it's called uh, Kanowski uh, crater and uh, evidently that's a UFO a UFO hotspot so hang with me and in a little bit a little bit later we're gonna hone in on that but for right now, one of our friends is Clavis, and uh, I'm going to hone in on Clavis for 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 just just to warm up. I hope you guys have uh, have had a good day. Uh, I've been having a super duper day. Uh, I I listen to Christmas music all day. Christmas music gets me in a happy mood, guy. I listen to Christmas music all year round. And tomorrow is Sunday, so that's Soundtrack Sunday. I listen to soundtracks all Sunday afternoon. See, I, got, I have my own little uh, formula for, for, for happiness, and it very, it's different, different from, from me to a lot of other people. This is an optical zoom. Uh, manufactured by Carl Zeiss and as you can see when we go in I'm using the tw the uh, 18 millimeter we let me work the focus a little bit I have a, I have a focuser a motorized focuser on the porch on the telescope and I can I can work it here I'm inside air conditioning there, by the way, there are no bugs outside. 
and uh, it is a uh, a beautiful calm night so we're not going to have any disruptions I think with the wind tonight by the way if you've been watching some of my videos recently I, I was experimenting I'm not going to do it every time but I was experimenting with uh, isn't that beautiful guys Th this is a uh, actually very becalming you know when when you get right down to it and you look at the moon uh, you go out on your porch and you look up in the sky and say, well, I hope Bill gets the moon tonight so I can see what in the hell's up there. Well, I'm, I'm showing it to you tonight. But one, one thing about it, it, it always is, uh, for me, calming. I go back and watch my videos just uh, just because they're, they're kind of neat to watch. <laughs> Quite frankly, I enjoy watching the moon, even my own work. I enjoy watching other people's videos of the moon too. I, I have a friend uh, in Manchester, England, that, that is doing a fabulous job uh, with his uh, telescope. He has a Nexstar uh, 8SE like mine, David, uh, and uh, isn't, isn't that beautiful? Let's just zoom in a little bit. See if I zoom in too much when it's yeah, and see how I zoomed in the, the light changes. This is a very a very sensitive uh, but you can still it's it still brings out the color. See I gotta work I gotta I got, I'm like an artist. I gotta be gotta be flexible about all this stuff. Just about I turn the contrast down. See, it's just get it get at the wrong angle, and it just doesn't look quite like I'd like it to. So I got to be an I got to be artistic with my uh, controls. The uh, I'm just kind of going up the shadow line right now. We're looking for UFOs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if we're going to see any UFOs, and I'm not particularly looking for UFOs. As I said before, I was thinking pleasant thoughts, and I was disrupted by those nasty buggers. But uh, we'll just see what... Now, see how when I work the controls down a little bit, see how the color comes out on those Mars? Let me tell you my theory about the Mars. And they're kind of substantiated by, uh, by the way, centered, that large crater kind of centered is uh, Archimedes. And uh, the Apollo 15 landing site is to the immediate 330 of Archimedes. Let me turn up the brightness a little bit in that mountain range. I, w I was looking over my video, my last video, guys. I had a, sp I didn't even know it. Isn't that a great picture of those mountains? Look at those mountains, guys. Look at those mountains. That is a fabulous picture of those mountains. The Apollo uh, 15 landing site is in that area I won't point it out unless I zoom in or I might zoom in a little bit later I tried to center the that string of mountains by the way going down uh, at an angle are the Apennines mountains Montes Apennines there I call them the moon Alps and I have no earthly idea how in the hell the Apollo astronauts landed there. It's centered right now. Matter of fact, let's zoom in. Let me let me turn the auto for grins, auto focus on. See how it jumped in. Isn't this camera wonderful? It has an auto focus. And let me just zoom in a little bit. See, that's pretty clear. That that's a that's an excellent picture of the mountains. 
And uh, matter of fact, let me bring up the exact location on my moon map and I'll tell you where it is. If you uh, take a look at uh, that large crater uh, to the left of the mountains, uh, that is called Archimedes. And uh, it, if you go immediately to the right of that, let me turn up the, the deal, to the immediate right of Archimedes is where the Apollo 15 landed. But it, isn't that a beautiful picture? Absolutely beautiful. I was talking to you about, uh, let me turn autofocus on. See how sometimes when the light hits it, it bounces in and out. And for my presentation, I like it to be kind of, uh, kind of stable. That's good. If you go back and look at uh, at my last video, uh, I was in an area what I called Matterhorn Mountains, and let me tell you, the you could clearly see exactly where Apollo 17 landed. And, and matter of fact, if you go back to that video and look in the oops there's another flying bat it flew right across our <laughs> we we got a flying saucer convention going on on the moon guys <laughs> and in that in that absolutely just stunning that every time i look at the moon in color it just blows me away i have no earthly idea why Astronomers don't show it in all its glory. When you bring up the color, look at the Mars. See how you can kind of see below the surface. It brings out the texture in the Mars. You can see. Uh, let me tell you my theory on the Mars. Well, before I, I say that, you go to the uh, the last video and look in the comment section, uh, the information section, and and I put in the information section. How to how to find the exact the exact location of Apollo 17? Now I'm doing this as a favor for a friend. Uh, the large crater. At the nine o'clock position. And let me, uh, we, oh, we had to bring up the color on that just to see. See how you bring up the color, you can see better. That is Kepler Crater. Kepler Crater. And the crater. Oh, well, let's. Let's do this systematically. That that crater right there is Copernicus. That large crater. See how the Alps come down, and you can see the mountain range. Isn't that beautiful? Look look at that. You got Copernicus, pretty much centered, and to the one thirty of Copernicus, you have a crater called Estophanes, and Estophanes is at the base of the Alps. And you can kind of see the Alp mountain range kind of going down through and surrounding Copernicus. Well, below Copernicus, uh, is uh, a crater that's called uh, Reinhold. See that? Uh, I'll send a Reinhold. Trying to uh, 
isolate this UFO hotspot for a friend. Reinhold, that's Reinhold right there, kind of centered. Kind of centered. Below Reinhold is Landsberg. I'm going to center Landsberg. Little geography today. To the immediate left, to the immediate left of Landsberg, which is centered, is a little crater which is centered now and that crater is called Kanowski. Let me move it back over. Centered. Right there. Well, no. No. They're not centered. <laughs> kind of getting there. <laughs> Let me zoom back out. I don't think we're going to see much. Kanowski is centered right now. Right now. Right there. And another UFO. A flying saucer convention on the moon. We got flying saucers out the butt tonight. <laughs> let me. <laughs> let me. Let me zoom in. Uh, I try to make this colorful and enjoyable. Uh, centered. But we're not going to see too much of Kanowski until, isn't that beautiful? Until the shadow line creeps over it, which, you know, it might happen in a couple days. Notice what's happening though. The shadow line on the moon. Let me zoom back out. Isn't this neat that I can zoom in and out? Uh, see how the shadow line has been moving to the left. That's what it does on the moon. That is absolutely stunning. That picture right there. You could fill a book up with the photos that I'm taking. By the way, every time I do a video now, I'm actually going in there and uh, taking photos of my session in high def and publishing them on my Facebook account. And uh, so if you're so inclined to see what I've done, uh, you can go up there and kind of look, peruse my albums. Befriend me. I'll befriend anybody. <laughs> I'm not picky. And uh, I had a guy from uh, Enigal, I think a husband and wife from Indonesia that befriended me yesterday from uh, Facebook. A lot of people don't realize it, but I've actually, uh, I spent three years of my life living in Indonesia. They are wonderful people over in Indonesia. And uh, I lived, uh, I worked for Texaco for 30 years and then retired. Isn't that beautiful guys? And then retired. That That is a stunning picture. And when I was over, uh, I was a chief automation engineer for uh, for Texaco on the Dury field for a while and uh, so I spent Dury, in Dury, Sumatra, it's a little camp in the middle of the jungle. Let, I see something very interesting. I don't know what it is. Look at the look at the very top. Let's let's you know me, I'm looking for strange things and it just I know it's the way the light's hitting it and let's work that image right there centered. Let's turn the brightness down, contrast up. Uh, let me zoom in on it. Maybe when I zoom in, the light will change on it. 
No. Just not cooperating. Don't know what that is. We're going to have to wait until we get a better a better light. See how when you're in the light you you you're just overwhelmed by the light. This camera is uh, very sensitive to color and uh, and 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 obviously light and if if you have isn't that beautiful? We turn the contrast down just a, bat, a dab. Now I like that picture because it brings out the uh, the layering in the Mars. Let me tell you my theory on the Mars. I, I was doing that a little bit ago. About a month and a half ago, NASA came out with a uh, with a some images of some. Uh, well, this is one of my favorite kind of images. Let's let's see if we can work this image a little bit. Let me turn the brightness up. Down. Contrast down a little bit. Doesn't that look like paint balls? Just kind of. That's beautiful. Anyhow, they they came up with these like some poles. There's another UFO, guys. Another bat flying across the screen. <laughs> I swear I saw one though. Before I turned the camera on. Uh, usually what I do when I set up, I just kind of, I kind of go over the moon and look at see, and see what I can see to, to determine what's going to be worth showing you guys. And there was a slow mover. I mean, it must have taken a full minute to go across the screen like this, you know, just, just chugging along, man. It was just chug. There's another one, guys. We got all kinds of UFOs up there tonight. I found that I've uh, most most of the people that don't like my videos are astronomers. They don't like to see the color. They they think that the color is uh, doesn't exist. So old Bill's doing something tricky. <laughs> and old Bill's not doing nothing tricky. I'm just showing you what's up there. Then you got the category of people. Every time I do a controversial video like this, and if I put UFO in the in the title. Then they're going to give me, I mean, they don't like to see that at all. So they're they're just down on UFOs, and it, so I won't I won't say nothing about UFOs in the title. <laughs> Isn't that a great picture? That is just a great picture. Anyhow, I was talking about these sump poles. They're they're uh, they they determine their lava tubes. And that at one time the moon was active with volcanism, and and you can see it in the Mars. You can see the how at one time they were they were a, a lava base. And my theory, this is my theory again. I I'm a common sense astronomer. I'm not. I'm an amateur. I'm learning. I, I, I'm not a professional in any sense of the word. Uh, I'm just uh, a practical kind of guy, and I go up and look at the moon and uh, see what I can see and uh, share it with people and uh, learn as I go. Now, you know, one time I, I, I said the moon rot it was rotating, it was tilting. You know, well, I mean, that's just what it does all the time. Of course, I didn't know that at the time, but I learned. And uh, anyhow, NASA came up with this... Uh, this interesting uh, theory about how the the tubes, uh, you know, we, they, they they these real black spots, and they that's where the lava came up. So there's probably a cave system under the moon uh, of of lava tubes. There's Crystal Lake uh, right at our. Uh, it's going on five o'clock. 
just just pretend now you're 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 in a spaceship and you're you're flying you're floating over the moon with Bill and this is high adventure guys high adventure and uh, and and you're you're looking out at, at you're you're floating above the moon in a spaceship uh, and you're looking out the porthole and what you see on the screen is the porthole. Now let me give you a tip. If you watch these videos on a 54 inch screen on a TV set in your living room, they will blow you away. Let me give you another tip. I record these at 1080p between 8 and 15 frames a second. That means they're real they're real smooth video, except when I jump around, you know, except when the wind's blowing. And, uh, and so consequently, if you have a MacBook, all the MacBooks that are sold right now come with HDMI ports. You, you can plug uh, your HDMI port into your TV set, bring it up full screen at 1080p. you got to go down there and change that little... Uh, ship steering wheel thing to be 1080p and then you will uh, you will see the this video in all its glory now if you're a PC a regular Windows PC kind of guy or gal there's something else it's so a little blurrier. Clearly, that was a bug. <laughs> I don't know what these things are, guys. I'm showing you. I'm showing you what I see, and I I come with no agenda, except to educate you and amuse you, and and show you a colorful moon. That's the only agenda I have. It's just a. It is to share the moon with you. And if you uh, think it's a, a bug, well, it's a bug. It's great. But it, it, is, uh, it is a beautiful moon. Let me zoom in uh, one more time before I shut this down. Uh, right at the base of the Alps and you can see when I zoom in see it's clearing up a little bit oh look at that 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 is worth zooming in all the way I don't think putting in the Barlow right now let me turn autofocus on on this one Look at the look at the mountains how they're starting to come out. You know, see sometimes trying to focus it now manually. You know, just see if you get those atmospherics, guys, and they're they're a killer. You just can't do anything about it. One thing about this moon, the way it is, uh, like it's right now around 4, 4 a.m. And the moon will, will stay up and it'll, it'll, it'll be kind of uh, washed out with the sun. Well, the moon is not going to get real high and as a consequence that is beautiful absolutely stunning as a consequence we're not gonna you know when it gets real high then I can put the Barlow in it and we can get in there up close and personal in some of these other craters like I've done but if I did it right now you know the imagery because of the the atmospherics you kinda see it going in and out of focus but I, I don't come up here to do Barlow's all the time. I come up here to just look at the moon and see what's up there. And uh, 
and lately I've been uh, seeing a lot of uh, UFOs for some reason. I have no earthly idea what in the hell is going on, but we are seeing the UFOs. Let me show you one thing. I was talking about the my theory. My theory on the see that crater centered right there centered. Let me zoom in a little bit on it. See how it looks like it's part of part of the craters under. Uh, I'll zoom in all the way just so you can see. See how it looks like water washed up into it. Well. My theory is that this, this, all the, all these Mars at one time were lava beds, and 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 when you're looking at them, I think that like look at that horse. See how it looks like it's under underwater. I think I think that we're, what we're looking at is kind of like a, a material that when the light reflects it in a certain way. I said at an angle, maybe it's straight on, but there's a difference, and it brings out the, the color comes out when it's the light is hitting the moon in a certain angle. And I think that we can see below the surface of these. I think it's kind of like crystalline material, kind of like uh, ice. Anyhow, let's uh, let's finish this up where we left off. A beautiful, beautiful moon with a boatload of UFO activity for sure and the other thing is it is high adventure and it's colorful hope you guys have a great Sunday and a great week wishing you and yours clear skies guys